Why can't I do that anymore? One lit open area. Yo, what's going on guys, it's Shock with GG, and in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys an updated guide on how to get no recoil with any gun. This doesn't matter if you're on console, it doesn't matter if you're on PC, these same rules will apply to uh, both. So, the basic idea here is you want to take a gun, for example, Buck C8, that has a fair amount of recoil, and you want to take off your barrel attachment. So, I've already done that. You want to take off your barrel attachment. And if you're using a gun that has a vertical grip, you want to take off the vertical grip. If you can add an ACOG to the gun, add an ACOG. You basically want to take off anything on the gun that reduces recoil and then add anything onto the gun that increases recoil. So you could try things such as adding a suppressor on, putting an ACOG on, or a higher zoom scope, um, things such as that. And then you want to go into a T-Hunt or a custom game, and you basically want to practice spraying at the wall. So, if you guys watched my somewhat recent aim training video that I made like a week ago or whatever, um, I kind of briefly went over this, and I had mentioned the video, the my old uh, How to Get No Recoil video in that video. Um, I thought I'd come back and update the video. I'm kind of going to go over a lot of the same points, but I feel as if most of my current audience has not seen that video and I get asked dozens of times daily, how do you control recoil so good? How are you doing this? So I thought I'd go over one more time, make a new video about it and kind of just explain what I did to help myself learn these high recoil guns. So again, you basically just want to go in, take your flash hider or compensator, muzzle brake, whatever off, take an ACOG or a 1.5, a 2X on if you can, and then take off your vertical grip take off your angle grip anything like that go into a game and just do as i did there just spray at a non-destructible surface and just continuously do this now this seems simple enough but this will actually help you significantly in the long run now the reason you're at it you're trying to add recoil to the gun is because if you add recoil to for example the c8 like i've done here if you take off all of the recoil reducing attachments like i've done and you add attachments that give you recoil what's going to happen is when you put on your normal attachments that reduce recoil it's going to feel as if the recoil on that gun has been halved so instead of having what feels like a ton of recoil with your flash hider and your hollow and your vertical grip or whatever it's going to feel as if you have half that amount of recoil, okay? That's because what you're doing right now where you're spraying at a wall or whatever like this with these added recoil attachments, what you're practicing here is a version of the gun with double the recoil than it normally has or at least added recoil by some degree. So when you go back to the normal thing, it feels way, way better. Now, you can just go through the T-Hunt and you could go in and you can just shoot at the terrorist, whatever, kill them. But you need to keep in mind that you're trying to practice your recoil control. Just doing T-Hunt, you're not going to improve your recoil control. If you're doing a T-Hunt like I am right now, chances are you're going to be running through, you're going to be seeing people, you're going to go aim for the head and kill them pretty much as fast as possible. This is not really helping your recoil control that much because you're just shooting them in the head when they're not moving and you're just insta killing them meaning you don't need to shoot a lot of bullets you can just one tap everybody right no problems you're not gaining any sort of recoil control like i don't know training right so when you do this be sure that you're primarily just spraying at a non-destructible wall trying to practice your recoil control you can go through and you could do a T-Hunt or whatever, that's fine, but that's not going to significantly increase the ability that you have to control recoil. So just understand that. Just doing T-Hunt is not going to help. I recommend just spraying at a wall, just like this. You can increase the distance to make it harder for you. So if you want to go further away, you could try doing that. It'll be a little bit harder for you. You can do things such as that to help you. 
Um, but just running through a Tiant like this is really not going to help much because of the one-shot headshot thing. So just keep that in mind. Also, another thing I just wanted to quickly add is that doing something like this, you can play Tiant for an hour, okay? You could go through, play Tiant for an hour, and do an hour straight of recoil control training, okay? After that hour, you're going to be great. You're going to be able to control that gun so well, along with a lot of other high recoil weapons. But the problem is if you stop playing for five days, six days, seven days, however many days, and you don't train that recoil control, chances are you're going to be straight back at ground zero. You're going to have to start all the way from the bottom and go way back up to where you were. So you need to be consistent with this. This is not something that you can just... Oh, I did this for an hour today and now I'm done. I never have to do this recoil controlling ever again. I did it today. I mastered my recoil control. I'm done. This is something you have to keep up with. You can do it alongside your normal aim training if you'd like. So when you go to do a T-hunt, you could just do your recoil control. Just spray at a wall. If you want to do that, that's fine. You can do that. But I would recommend doing this at least a few times per week. Or if you're playing really badly, maybe try doing this. See if it helps you out some. But just keep in mind, you cannot do something like this once and expect to master it forever. You have to keep this up, okay? This is not something where you're just going to keep the skill that you gained from this forever. So just keep that in mind because I've had a lot of people say like, oh, I was doing really good for it and like now it's not working. Do you have any other tips? I mean, you can watch my aim training video if you want more tips for like things such as, you know, better aim and, you know, things such as that. But there, there's not much you can do currently in Siege to help control your recoil. So this is probably the best way or one of the best ways. It's kind of difficult for me to think of something else you could do to practice your recoil control. So there's not much else I can recommend. You just have to be consistent with this, okay? All right, guys, so I think that'll be just about the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope it, you guys found it helpful. If you did, be sure to let me know down in the comments if you have any other video ideas for me. Also, be sure to let me know in the comments. I love doing these sort of tip videos, and I'm trying to do my best to help you guys out. So if there's any sort of videos you guys would like to see me make, or if you're struggling on something in-game, do be sure to let me know, and I'll see if I can make a video on it. Also, if we hit 100K subs, I have yet to announce this on YouTube. If we hit 100K subs... I will drop my first set of merch ever. I've never dropped merch before. So a lot of people have been asking me for merch or something like that. At 100k subs, I've already been talking with some designers and people like that to have all this set up. At 100k subs, I will be dropping my first set of merch. It'll be limited time for maybe like a month just after 100k subs, okay? So be sure to sub if you guys enjoy the content. 100k subs soon. Hopefully by the end of the year, we'll see though, I think three or four months, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching everyone.